<sighs> the Selfish Giant by Arthur Wilden. This is a story about a giant who has a beautiful garden but does not let anyone enter it. Due to this, not only him but his garden pays the price. In this story, there is a selfish giant. He is selfish because he does not let anyone in this garden. He chased, he chased away the children who were having fun in his garden. Once he chased the children away, the children away from the garden. When it was winter, the children came back to the garden asking the giant if they could play, play and use their mahoganies. The giant simply ignored them, ignored their knocks on, on his door. When winter ended for the villagers, the trees blossomed, blossomed, flowers bloomed, and the hard snow melted away. The same thing cannot be said for the garden and the giant. In the garden, there were patches of hard snow everywhere. The trees were barren, no birds singing, and cold. Very, very cold. The giant sat sat in the sat in his house wondering if spring has forgotten his garden. Winter continued in the garden for many months, but one day the north wind blew a hole in in the giant's wall. The children used this wall to play in the garden. But play in the garden. The trees were very happy. The sweetest blossoms blossomed. Birds were about and flowers, flowers were shaking with laughter. But there was still a patch of snow in the corner of the garden where a boy was struggling to get on a tree. The tree said, calm down boy, I will help you get on me. But unfortunately for the boy, he could still not get on the tree. He weeped, he cried. But when the giant saw this, he finally saw how selfish he was. So he went outside, frightening the other children, but he still continued on to the boy, helping him, helping him get on the tree. The boy said, thank you to the giant. The giant said, no, thank you. After the giant helped the boy, the giant said to the other children, forgive me for my mistake. I beg and allow you to play in my garden as much as you want. The children were delighted to hear the giant say that because they really enjoyed playing in the garden. After many years of playing with the giant, playing with the children, the giant became old, but still played with the children as much as he can, but mostly told stories. After some time, the giant passed in the garden. Trees crept up on his body, protecting it. The children gathered around the giant's body and cried. But the children continued on playing in the giant's garden, telling stories about a giant who was selfish at first, but after a while changed and let them play in this garden. <laughs>